All right, New Orleans city leaders are pushing to provide more adequate care for residents who may be dealing with a mental health crisis. The 911 call center received over 3,000 mental health calls just last year. So this new pilot program will provide better ways to respond when a police officer may not need to be present. WDSU Sherman DeSalle explains from Gentilly. Yeah, good evening. Mayor Latoya Cantrell made this announcement with other health leaders and NOPD to talk about the importance in our city when it comes to addressing mental health, keeping people safe while also getting them the help that they need. It's something that a lot of local professionals in this industry or that mental health component say is desperately needed. New Orleans leaders announced the start of a dispatch pilot program. It's designed to redirect emergency calls for service relating to mental health incidents. That may be a response. It may be set, setting up an appointment um, with a crisis uh, or a mental health professional um, or provide some more immediate care. Last year, NOPD responded to over 6,500 mental health calls. This alternative gets the help someone in crisis may need, but also frees up uniformed officers to respond to more violent calls. This is just another opportunity in which we can set a foundation to pave the way with our partners here uh, in city government. One local coalition praises the effort, hoping the program can collaborate with community professionals. I would have loved I would have loved to see community be more centered in those conversations, but I'm happy that they're being had. The Orleans Parish Prison Reform Coalition hosted listening sessions across the city for the last year. Their deputy director says their data shows 80% of people in Orleans Parish jail are diagnosed with a mental health or substance abuse disorder. So we know that folks aren't getting adequate, adequate and competent care. That can't happen from inside of a jail cell. And the director um, knows the value of having proper so resources. Years ago, she had a mental health crisis of her own due to multiple diagnoses, including depression and anxiety. Had I not been afforded with the proper resources or provided or met with the proper care, that same situation, those same fates could have been my own. Now, this city program, it's starting here in the 3rd District in Gentilly with plans to expand this pilot program. Also, the Prison Reform Coalition, they have a signature, a petition with nearly a thousand signatures on it with an effort to establish and fund a non-police mental health crisis intervention program. Reporting from Gentilly, Sherman DeSalle, WDSU News.